The FDA is begging Americans to avoid taking horse medication that's used to deworm horses in an effort to treat or prevent coronavirus. Typically, individuals who try to obtain ivermectin for these purposes don't trust the vaccine. So instead, they're turning to a horse medication that has not been proven to treat coronavirus in order to protect them. Great. So in a tweet, the FDA wrote, quote, you are not a horse, you are not a cow. Seriously, y'all, stop it. And they provide some answers to questions people may have about ivermectin, the medication in question here. Ivermectin is a medication usually reserved for deworming livestock and is responsible for a spike in poison control calls in Mississippi as people duped by conspiracy theories have purchased the drug and ingested it, hoping it will treat or prevent COVID-19, something the drug is not proven to do. In fact, if individuals take this in large doses and typically since this is for livestock that's much larger than humans, they will obtain it in large doses, they could have organ failure. So the consequences of this could be severe. According to an alert issued by the Mississippi Department of Health on Friday, 70% of all recent calls to poison control in the state have been related to ingestion of livestock or animal formulations of ivermectin purchased at livestock supply centers. So I, I look, um, people are skeptical of the coronavirus vaccine, which by the way, the Pfizer version of the vaccine has now been given full approval by the FDA. Uh, it's gone beyond the emergency approval. Uh, but it, I, I don't think that that's gonna matter for the people who for some reason are skeptical of the vaccine that million, like tens of millions of Americans have already taken but are not skeptical of conspiracy theorists who are urging them to take something that has not in any way been proven to be a treatment or a preventative measure for coronavirus. Um, I love our members, so I'm gonna read this one. Someone who likes Bernie Sanders wrote in in the member section. Uh, I'm sick of the FDA constantly getting between me and my veterinarian. <laughs> I mean, look, this is insane. There's, they're like, I don't wanna take the vaccine, uh, it's not fully vetted. So instead, I'm gonna take medicine that's meant for horses. Wait, how is that any better? It doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. You just have to have Fox News say it, maybe Alex Jones and some other lunatics like that. And and they'll believe it, they'll believe anything. 99% of the world's doctors say that you should take this vaccine. They go, <laughs> what would doctors know? Bunch of idiots. What does Sean Hannity say? Oh, I should take the thing made for horses? Oh, I need some deworming, let's do this. And that's how conservatives actually think in this country. I know it seems shocking. We can't quite believe the things that they believe, but they do. They that's why they're getting all these calls. It's real. And they are being encouraged by media figures who they trust more than medical professionals. So let's take a look at this fun compilation video of individuals who have a responsibility to the general public when it comes to something as serious as this pandemic, but consistently lie to the general public about what they should be doing to keep themselves safe. We know that our FDA has in many ways failed us by not allowing for the use of ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine, both of which are used around the world to reduce COVID hospitalizations and deaths. I pelted them with questions about COVID-19 and the vaccine and therapeutics, hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin and ivermectin, as well as other proactive treatments and practices were already helping COVID-19 patients all across the country. On June 5th, Weinstein discussed the benefits of a drug called ivermectin, which can and is around the world used to treat and prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And you know, it was disheartening to hear one of Joe Rogan's guests also talk about ivermectin as a possible treatment for coronavirus. It's just, while being, you know, weirdly conspiratorial about the vaccine, even though he had taken it. And that is a huge podcast. You know, Rogan is not a news person per se, but he does have a giant amount of influence. And with that influence comes responsibility, especially when it comes to a deadly pandemic. But you know, when it comes to the actual healthcare professionals, when it comes to people like Mississippi's state health officer, here's what they say about this 
livestock drug meant to deworm the livestock and how it's not actually effective for coronavirus. Uh, Dr. Thomas Dobbs says, quote, I think some people are trying to use it as a preventative, which is really kind of crazy. So please don't do that. You wouldn't get your chemotherapy at a feed store. You wouldn't treat your pneumonia with your animal's medication. It can be dangerous to get the wrong doses of medication, especially with something meant for a horse or a cow. And one of our viewers sent me a screenshot of a mother looking to get this drug for her eight year old daughter, which is terrifying. I mean, the amount of damage that's being done around this country based on this incredibly irresponsible disinformation, it just knows no bounds and they don't care. They don't care, they love it, they love it, it helps their viewers. It helps with their viewership, it gets their ratings up, it appeals to this audience of conspiracy theorists. And as long as they're getting the ratings that appeal to their advertisers, they're good, they're good. They don't care how many people die, even if it's members of their own audience. So. We did this story once before, before the FDA weighed in and all the local officials in Mississippi even said, "Oh, for God's sake, guys, don't don't take stuff meant for horses. And in that story, our viewers also sent in pictures of signs hanging up in their local stores in Texas saying, please do not take medication intended for horses and cattle. They have to explain that to right wingers in Texas because that's how brain dead they are. So do you know that five vaccines are mandatory for all kids going to school anyway, including vaccines for polio, chicken pox, and tetanus. Now we've been doing that our whole lives. Nobody ever objected to anything. But Fox News says, oh, no, the vaccine's terrible. You know, all the world's doctors agree with it. It's terrible. You know how stupid doctors and scientists are. We hate them. Anything with facts, we hate, right? So instead, let's take the thing meant for horses, ivermectin. Yeah, meanwhile, and they go, by the yeah, way, they're they all vaccinated. Oh, of course. They're all vaccinated. Okay, there's a memo going around at Fox News saying you must be vaccinated. And if you're not fully vaccinated, you must wear a mask at all times. Even if you're fully vaccinated in certain areas like a control room, you must be masked the whole time. So they're safe. They know what the truth is. But they intentionally lie to their viewers, to the American people about what they should do to keep themselves safe. Sorry, Jink. I That's okay. The, the, in, the, in the case of ivermectin, it is an out. Unbelievable lie. There was one study put out about ivermectin, claimed that it could help a little bit. And then it was found out that it was totally faked. The beginning was plagiarized, but much more importantly, the facts were fake. They were literally not true, so it was withdrawn and it was humiliating. But Fox News thinks, who cares? Now, if you're wondering why, why would they bother lying to their audience about this? I mean, they hold stock in ivermectin, what, why, why are they doing this? No, the idea is to break down trust with, with any institution in America. Mm -hmm. Anything that brings you facts. The journalists, they're the enemy of the people. Uh, you know, doctors and scientists, they're, they're, they're even worse. Uh, the government, of course, is unacceptable. The only people you should listen to is us. That's what Fox News says, right? So if I can get you to believe things that are patently absurd and that I know for a fact are 100% lies, then my propaganda has worked perfectly. Then I can get you to believe anything. And, and that's, that's where we are. People are literally killing themselves because they won't take the vaccine. Almost everyone who dies in America now is unvaccinated. And Fox News looks at that and goes, "Oh, all these people dying. Tens of thousands of people dying because they're listening to our lies. Win! Now we can sell them everything we want and make so much money out of turning these people into utter fools. No, propaganda is an amazing thing and you're seeing it right in front of your eyes. Now, when I was a kid, I used to wonder how the Holocaust happened. I mean, how could so many people believe so many insane, murderous things? Now I know. No, you just get the media to do propaganda and they'll believe anything. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.